I think there's probably two things that we're talking about. One is around services for the child and, and what could that look like? And then it is services as a family and as a family unit, what supports do you need? And that can really differ family to family. Um, and I think it is the tendency of most parents that we meet to focus solely on the services for their child and really think about themselves secondary to that. But the family and how the family works together and, and where they're at in the process of having um, autism in their family and understanding that and how they feel about that, it's really important that you have support for your family as well. Being the parent of a child on the spectrum can feel like you're a project manager. You have so many tasks, so many activities that you're juggling along with you know, life and other children and other commitments. It can be really tiring, you're underpaid, you're under-resourced and you're time pressured. We surrounded ourselves with family when it was diagnosed to get us through as a family. I think finding support if you can. If you're going to do early intervention, good people that are in early intervention, we still talk to people that we have been therapists for Bradley now and he's 14. At an adult level, I think for us, the, the big part of the new normal is realising, okay, how do we as parents actually stay calm, patient, as healthy as we can? And that involves you know, obviously the, the stuff that is obvious but hard to prioritise sometimes, doing exercise, getting out in nature, playing music, listening to music, watching great movies, like all of that stuff easily falls to the side. It feels like it's a luxury but it's really important if you're going to be a good parent or a good husband or wife or anybody, you, you've got to, you know, figure out how you can find those little spaces to do the things that are going to keep you healthy. So that's, that's a huge part of the new normal. Our world pivoted substantially and we found ourselves in activities and social groups in things that we as parents hadn't been interested in, whether that was sport or online gaming. It was things that were foreign to us, but our, our young man's interests took us into those communities and we found ourselves sort of new, uh, new social groups, a new tribe, but particularly the parent groups became our new extended family. The, the shared experience of the autism journey provided uh, an instant intimacy and friendship bond that was really profound. But even online groups, where you can find people who are dealing with the same issues as you, whether that be sort of meltdowns, problems with communication, finding good therapists, dealing with bureaucracy, just having people who are uh, walking the same walk as you makes a huge difference, I think, and makes you feel less alone. It is a juggle, but everyone juggles it. You know, people have been doing this for far longer than I, with less resources and less support and less knowledge out there. So you become good at planning, diary becomes key, Time management becomes key. If your partner, you know, you've got to work it out and you've got to keep going and think of the kids first. And um, I gave up a lot of outside of work home stuff as well because I thought I needed to be around for the kids all the time. And um, but looking back, that probably adds to the pressure. So you've got to find something for yourself, I probably learnt. As parents, we continue to just take on more stress and focus on our son and the clinical support he was given, but neglected to work on us. And my advice to any parent, and we've learnt this lesson over years, is you actually, to be a better parent, to be able to cope with the stress and the anxiety that you deal with every day, you need to find your own thing, you need to find your own respite, and you need to build a community around you that will help you do that. It's really important when you're managing and trying to support your whole family that you try as best you can to work as a unit. Now, it's easier said than done. There's a lot of pressures. But particularly if there are a couple of parents in the relationship, it's important that you kind of tag team. Not everybody can be a super mom or a super dad every day. You're going to have ebbs and flows. It's great if you can, you know, tag your partner in on a day that you're not really coping very well and you need a bit of a break. It's kind of the application of your oxygen mask first, if you like. You know, your child needs you, you're their best advocate. They need you to be well, have great mental health and have some stamina. So where possible, and that might be a partner, it might be a grandparent, it might be a friend or some extended family. It doesn't matter who it is. It's essentially putting a team around this child. 